Welcome. This is what is happening on the Sun today, 27th of August 2011. This is going to be a short report because we have preparations to make before Irene comes through our area, although the forecast is not sounding as bad as it did a couple of days ago. But my thoughts go out to those in the path of this uh, huge hurricane. Just eight years ago, Mars made its closest approach for quite some time. It came within 34.6 million miles of Earth. So our trivia question for today is, how long since Mars made an approach equivalently close? The answer will be given at the end. Since the last time we met, the Sun has produced just one sea flare. That was from region 1275. And there's been a long duration B9 event that occurred just earlier this morning. As you may recall, long duration events are usually associated with filament eruptions or coronal mass ejections. So we should be looking at the Transition Region movie and the Coronagraph movies to see where that came from. Let's take a look at the active regions and see what's going on. We have eight officially numbered active regions on the disk. Region 1272 though I could find no spots in it so I think that's gone now. Region 1271 has got very close to the west limb and has given the appearance of decay although I think most of that effect is foreshortening. Region 1278 is there but it's still a very modest region. Region 1275 uh, and 1280, a newly numbered region, have shown some significant signs of growth. Regions 1277 and 79 the large sunspot regions near the northeast limb are stable and unchanging. And there's a new region just popping up in the southern hemisphere near disk center that isn't numbered as yet. In the white light and magnetic movies from the HMI instrument on the Solar Dynamics Observatory, again I would like you to take a look at the relative growth and decay in various regions and see which ones you think are the most promising for future activity. So in the Transition Region movie from the AIA instrument on the Solar Dynamics Observatory, we're looking for this filament eruption that caused the long duration event that I mentioned earlier. Now I must admit that I can't see anything here. Well let's see if any of you have sharper eyes than I do and see if you can point to where that event occurred. Similarly in the Low Temperature Coronal movie, can you see anywhere where post flare loops are formed? I actually think our best bet for this is that region off the southeast limb. But there's not sufficient evidence to really nail that down. In the high temperature coronal image from the SXI instrument, we can see that coronal hole is now well into the western hemisphere and I think uh, solar wind speed should start picking up tomorrow. In the SOHO coronagraph movies, I don't see any evidence for a coronal mass ejection at the time of that long duration event either, so this thing is quite perplexing. Again, see if you can catch something that I missed. From the ACE data we see that the solar wind has changed quite significantly. While the temperatures remain relatively constant, the velocity has dropped and the density has increased significantly to well over one proton per cubic centimeter. The high energy electron flux has continued to steadily increase but we still have no proton events. From the NOAA 15 satellite we see that the auroral zone is very quiet and the KP index is still varying just between 0 and 2. So in summary then, the X-ray background has fallen to the B2 level, the sunspot number has fallen to 76, the radio sun intensity has increased to 105 solar flux units, the solar wind speed has dropped to 370 kilometers per second with a density of 3 protons per cubic centimeter, that's over 30 times more dense than it was just a couple of days ago, and geospace conditions are very quiet. My forecast then is that we have a possibility of C flares, but a low probability of M or X flares. The sunspot number will probably go lower, coronal mass ejections remain possible, the solar wind speed will start to increase late tomorrow, but the chances of getting a major geomagnetic storm are very poor. From the composite coronal picture, we can see that the region in the southeast is just about to come onto the disk, so we should get a better view of that tomorrow and see whether it has any spots. The next region due over is in the northeast, but is two or three days behind the limb still. The answer to our trivia question is that the last time Mars was this close was 60,000 years ago. So if you missed it eight years ago, you've got another 59,992 years to wait before you get another chance to see it that closely. Here's hoping that Hurricane Irene passes quickly and quietly along the eastern seaboard and does the minimum amount of damage. So in the words of the immortal Willie Nelson, So that's it for today. 
Keep safe. Bye for now.